Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell us your name and spell your last name for the record? John Justice, J-U-S-T-U-S. Your witness, Mr. Smith. How are you currently employed? At BNSF Railway. How long have you worked for BNSF Railway? Uh, 24 and a half years. What is your uh, current job title? I'm a carman. Okay. What does that mean? I work on uh, rail cars. Okay. Have you had occasion to work as a rapid responder in Tehachapi? Yes. Okay. Do you still do that? Yes. Okay. Just describe what a rapid responder is. You just, uh, if you get a call, you go out and help a train that's in uh, need. How long have you worked as a rapid responder? Uh, Ten years. Have you ever done that in a full-time capacity, or do you just do it uh, on occasion? Yeah, just on occasion. About how often a month? It varies. Uh, a couple times to 15 times. It just depends. Okay. Now, were you, you were working then as a rapid responder in 2014? Yes. Okay. At that time, uh, you were acquainted with Robert Lamone? Yes. When did you first meet Robert Lamone? Probably 2000. Okay. Uh, did you meet Robert while working for the BNSF company? Yes. And where did you meet him at? Probably at work. In city? In Barstow. Barstow. How big is that rail yard in Barstow? As far as people? people or yeah. Probably 150 carmen or so. So was Robert uh, just someone that you knew from work, or was it he somebody that you uh, became good friends with? Yeah, we became friends. How close were you? Pretty close. Did you ever socialize outside of work? Yeah. Okay. Well, what types of things would you do to socialize with Rob outside of work? We would play golf a lot. When you say a lot, how often? We used to play like every Thursday morning, but. Okay. So Robert was someone that you would see uh, at least once a week. Oh, yeah. But did you see him more than that? Yeah, yeah. We worked together for years. So you would spend time with Robert at work. You would spend time with Robert outside of work as well. Do you know, are you aware of the time frame when uh, Robert Lamone also became a rapid responder in Tehachapi? I think it was a week or two right after me, okay. in so 2007. Did, 2007. Now, did you ever work the same shift as him up there, or you just were aware that he would go up there? Yeah, maybe every, every once in a while they would have two, but very rarely you just work by yourself, so you'd cover each other. What was Rob like? He's a good guy. Good guy, yeah. nice friend. Did you ever meet his family? Yeah. Uh, when did you meet Sabrina? I, I don't know a date. Okay. Can you give a, an approximate year? I don't know, 2003, 2004. I, I, You hung out with uh, Robert Lamone a lot. Did you see Sabrina much? No, just here and there. Okay. When you say here and there, what do you mean? We, when we went and played golf, he had the golf cart, so I'd park at the house and get the golf cart and go from there. Okay. If you could just pull the microphone <laughs> a little bit. Thank you. I'm going to take you forward to uh, August 15th of 2014. And do you recall working a shift around that time? That was right before Friday. Robert's death, yes. I worked, I know I worked Saturday. Okay. Now, where did you work at on Saturday? Tatchby. Who were you working for? Uh, Corey Hamilton. 
Now, on that Saturday, August 16, 2014, did you call Robert Lamone in the morning? Yes. And why did you call Robert? Because Corey called and asked if I could cover Sunday. Okay. So Corey wanted you to cover Sunday, August 17th shift as well? Yes. Uh, what time was the shift that he wanted to have covered? Uh, days, 7 to 7, 7 in the morning to 7 to 9. So just so I know how it goes, Corey called you. Yes. And you were already working? I was already at work, yes. Okay. And so based on that, you called Robert. I called Robert. Did Robert agree to work that shift? Yes. So the shift on Sunday, August 17, 2014, was he covering your shift or Corey Hamilton's shift? Corey's shift. Corey's shift. Do you remember what time you called Robert Lamone on August 16th? Between 9 and 10 in the morning, somewhere around there. Okay. Now, when you called, uh, who answered the phone? Uh, Sabrina. Okay. What, if anything, do you recall her saying to you? Really not. Uh, she just answered and said, Rob's right here. So basically a handoff of a phone? Yeah. yeah. Um, beyond asking Rob to work the shift the next day, did you have any further conversation with him? No. Now, when did you learn that Robert was dead? Probably six or so, seven. And that would be August 17, 2014, the day yes. he died. Do you remember who called you? Corey. Now, after you learned um, that he was deceased, that being Robert, what did you do? I kind of freaked out. Did you speak with law enforcement? That day, no. Okay. Um, did you ever speak with law enforcement? Uh, later. Okay. Do you recall who you spoke with? Uh, I, most of the stuff went through uh, Gates, through the BNSF. Okay. When you say Gates, that's uh, uh, the BNSF police officer, yes. Joseph Gates. Now, at the time of his death, were you aware uh, whether or not Robert had any uh, beefs or arguments with anyone? No. Okay. Were you aware whether or not uh, he was involved in uh, or he had any issues with infidelity, with infidelity within his marriage? No. Do you recall being asked those questions? Uh, I don't think so. You said that you'd been working at the shop in Tehachapi for since about 2007. Yes. If you could describe uh, where it's located at. Uh, 1582 Goodrick. Can you describe the building that it's in? It's an industrial shop. What kind of markings are to the front that shows that it's a BNSF shop? Just the markings on the parking blocks. Sir, could you do me a favor? Uh, speak up a little bit. I'm sorry. That's all right. Yeah, the, the markings on the parking block. When you're saying a parking block, those are cement items yeah. that stop a car. Mm -hmm. Is there any other sign to the front of the building? No. Has there ever been since uh, you began working there in 2007? No. Uh, when the sliding door is down, is there a sign that says BNSF on the sliding door? No. How would somebody find out where the shop is that you work at in Tehachapi? If they didn't know? If they didn't know. I don't know. Yeah. 
Now, working for BNSF, uh, are a lot of uh, other employees of that same company aware of where that shop in Tehachapi even is? No. Prior to beginning to work there in 2007, were you aware of where the shop was at? No. How do you spell your first name? John, J-O-H-N. J-O-H-N. Did you ever go by just shorter, like John, J-O-N? No. No? Okay. These are going to seem like kind of random questions, but how tall are you? 6'3". Uh, 6'3". Six, three. Six, three. Uh, how much do you weigh? Uh, like 235. 235. Again, these are going to seem random. Do you consider yourself to have a large nose? No. Okay. Do you own any motorcycles? Not anymore. No. Okay. Have you ever owned a chopper style motorcycle? No. Have you ever had any beefs or arguments with Robert Lamont? No. Nothing further. Terry Cross. In person, met or talked with Sabrina. Come on. I'm 20. And uh, prior to Rob's murder, other than talking to her on the phone, when was the last time before that that you'd actually seen her? I wouldn't even know. I was it within the that year of 2014, if you know? Probably not. I, I... So it could have been a year or two years before that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And during the entire time that you knew uh, Robert, was he uh, married to Sabrina? Mm, yes. Okay. They've been together the whole time that you knew him yeah. up until his death, right? Yes. Would it be safe to say that uh, other than Working in with him and uh, maybe, maybe now and again getting together for a drink after work or going golfing with him, that was the extent of the social interaction you had with him? Yeah. Okay. Were you, ever, you never went over to his home for dinner or a barbecue or anything? We, we had a barbecue one time at, a, at the park or something. At the park? Yeah, we went to oh. a park was from his house. Okay. Was his family there? I think so. Okay. Well, it might have been before the kids, so. Might have been even before the kids. <laughs> yeah, it's. Okay. Um, so sometime around 2003. Yeah, somewhere in there. I, I don't remember exactly, but. And would it be safe to say that uh, Rob was not one to really talk much about his marital life uh, with you? Such as him saying anything about him having marital problems? No. In other words, when it came to his family life and his marital life, he, that really wasn't a big subject of uh, discussion between you and Rob, right? No. Pretty much limited to common interests and golf. Yeah, with the kids. We talked about the kids. And you talked about his kids yeah. and your kids. Yeah. Uh, was your uh, any of your kids involved in sports with his? No, kids? my kids are older. No. Just talk about generally about uh, what kids were the kids were doing. Yeah. Did you ever get any indication from him that he was not happy 
with his uh, marital life. Objection here, sir. I'll read Overruled. You. Overruled. You can okay. answer. Say again. Yeah, did you ever hear or did Rob ever express to you or, uh, that he had, had any problems with his marital life? No. So if there was, he never expressed it to you? No. You mentioned, uh, you actually said the address uh, for the shop up in Patchby, is that right? Yeah. Did you actually uh, know it at the time, or have you learned it since? I've learned it since. Okay. Um, and is there a series of uh, commercial buildings, in other words, a number of different uh, companies having uh, those uh, buildings along there? Yes. Okay. And do each of them have signs out in front of them saying what built or what business is at that location? I don't, not, not hardly any of them. Most of them aren't marked. Now you said that the only way you would know is, is by the BNSF that's uh, stenciled onto the uh, parking blocks, if you will? Yeah. Or it would be that if a, one of the BNSF trucks were parked right in front, yeah, that would be another way to tell. Or if the, the big door was up and you saw a BNSF truck parked right there inside the, uh, the shop, right? Yeah. That's one way you could also tell that that was probably a BNSF location. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now you indicated you, you don't own or have never owned any motorcycles? I don't own one now. I, a street bike I've never owned. Street bike you've never owned, no. but you've owned other like yeah, dirt quads bikes? quads and dirt bikes. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Justice. Mr. Smith, I think further. Step down, sir. Thank you. 